What's up, guys? This is Target Bin Finds, episode 21, and I remember in one video I mentioned that the trick stopped working. Well, the trick works again, so I found some pretty cool stuff, and a lot, too. This is a Utech Smart, some, some weird off-brand phone. I'll put the model number in the description, as always. It doesn't, I don't, th I don't know if it works, because it takes a strange, funky charger that I don't have. I hope it works, though, because this thing is cool, like... Come on, just look at it. Next up, we have this Motorola flip phone of some sort. It's kind of similar to my W755. I think it's like older than it. It's easier from 07. Despite this thing looking like it would be in great shape, it does not work. It doesn't power on or charge. However, I have two of these, actually. This one is not nice shape, and it's very dirty. But as you can see by this, it's showing the time. It does work, and it works pretty much fine. It's just dirty. I haven't bothered to like erase stuff, so it still says like original owner stuff. Makes like the same sounds the uh, Motorola W755 makes. Um, here's an um, iPhone 5C, 8 gigabyte. It also has a case and it's just like the other 5C except that one is FMI on. This one is FMI off. And original wallpaper, that's a good sign. But it does not run iOS 7. I will show you what it runs. Out. Where is it? Yeah, 9.3.1. Dang, only two gigs available, and I haven't even put anything on this. Upsetting. Next up, we have two. I'll show these. Two more S2s. I have so many of these now. I don't know if they work. They have those weird bulky backs, making you think they have an extended battery, but they have no battery, which is just dumb. So I don't know if it works. I really need to order an S2 battery at all. This is another Casio G zone. This is in the, yep, I have more of these. I now have five of them. This one was actually used because there is like a slight ding right there. And the home screen is managed differently and there's still text and a couple pictures on it. I think it's probably a Verizon employee because they were talking about MIEDs and stuff. So yeah, that's cool. I have five of these not common phones. Now this is nice. This is a Nokia Lumia of some sort. I do not know the exact model number yet because I haven't even bothered to take off this case, which is, keep in mind, very similar to the HTC One M8 case on the, one of the Windows phones and the one of the iPhones. So these are probably display phones, but it works totally fine. It's like in perfect shape and it just works. However, just like all Windows 8 um, mobile phones, it's basically just an expensive paperweight, so that sucks. Um, I'll save this. I'll go with this. And despite and just talking about Windows phones, I found yet another HTC One M8 Windows Phone Edition. It has someone's old number on it. Sorry if that's still your number. Dude, that's so sad. Screen is cracked, but let me turn it on real quick. Activation failed. Okay, it doesn't even have a SIM card. It works, however, it has someone else's Microsoft account on it, and I can't seem to get rid of it, so I can't really use this phone. Like I can use it less than that one. I haven't really must, like, messed with these much, so that's probably, like, this is one of the reasons why. And um, I guess I'll go with this one. Now this is an iPhone 6S, 16 gigabyte. It's in gold, as you can see. There it is. S. Really doesn't have the eye in the eye on the back. Has no screen. <laughs> Just no screen at all. However, I do know it is FMI on, and it's on the activation screen, because if you look it up to iTunes, it'll say activation locked. However, I'll, I will get a screen for this, because it's in like really good shape, and I can just use it for a frame. Easy. Um, what else? Now, you would think this is the best finds, and it's a Note 5. Like, holy crap, it is a Note 5. But, unfortunately, the AMOLED is dead. I will. It's justifiable to replace it, though, because... Getting another one of these is more expensive than replacing the screen. I gotta show you this though. Yes, the whole freaking back comes off. I don't even know why. It's not supposed to. That'll make replacing the screen easier though, though. Because normally the heat kind of stuff is all that makes it hard. This is the best find though, I think. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Yes, another one of these. It's on Verizon. It says water damage washing machine. Yet, it works perfectly. There's like nothing wrong with it besides like scuffs of it being obviously used and maybe not treated well but there's nothing wrong with the phone itself it works totally fine Ooh, there's a software update we'll deal with that later i don't care i don't care oh my goodness 
Yep, it's a Note 3, and it's cool. It works totally fine. Still haven't set it up. It's like all, all stock. There's nothing on it. Just have to take that sticker off. And I do have some other things to show. This is from last week. This is actually not a generic phone. It's a cow comp of some sort. Really weird brand. But it works. I actually have a proper charger over here. What the heck? The refresh rate on the screen is terrible. And my phone shows that. And you, you might have remembered how in the previous video I mentioned how the owner of a red Samsung phone has in this weird relationship or like, like problem. This is the person that they're in the relationship. This was the phone. So it's, it's pretty funny. So yeah. Um, what else do I show? This is the Samsung Convoy from the previous video. I have the proper charger for it and it works. It has a random number on it. 612, I think that's like Dallas. Not close to here at all. It works. And something about this Alcatel phone I want to show like you guys or viewers is, well, let me just get to it. Okay, well, this thing has freaking games on it. See, this is a J2ME phone, so putting stuff on it is super easy. I put like, all kinds of midis and Java games on it, and yeah, this is the Alcatel O2 871A, and it has all kinds of games. This is just one of them. Start. It's like, yes, start. I'll show this off real quick. It's Asteroids, and it does play like you'd expect on a old dumb phone. This thing is actually not even that old, it's like 2012. But it's cool to have, and it's a nice, nice little thing. But yeah, that's it for this video. These are all the new things, and it's pretty impressive, I would say. I do have to say this, though. There was still stuff in the bin. I just had to like leave it in there because the store was super busy, and I was able to open the bin. So I was like, you know what, let's just go quick. And I got all this. So yeah, that's nice. Thanks for watching, and see you, uh, see you till the next video.